Hey guys, and welcome to the Copycat Cooking Show. <laughs> As you can see, I came up with the name that I talked about in my last video. By the way, I'm wearing my pajama pants. This is basically going to be a series of videos where I try out someone that is like a really professional health eater recipe maker, and I'm going to make it myself. This is kind of the problem solver to me not being adventurous to come up with my own things, but also being able to make videos about healthy food and see if I like them. I've already prepared like all the ingredients just because I already filmed a video this morning. It took so long because I had to do everything as it came. So I've done a few of the spices and things like that and I have my food processor ready back there. And I'm obviously always going to give credit to the person. As you can tell by the title, today we're going to be trying to make Maddie Lindburner's Vegan Fettuccine Alfredo. If you're new to my channel, I am not vegan, but I do try to stay away from dairy. Pretty much dairy-free. Pretty much that's my only diet restriction is that I'm dairy-free, but occasionally now and then I'll have a little bit of dairy, but it's fine. I just love fettuccine alfredo, and that's something that really messes my stomach up. I'm not gonna be using gluten-free noodles today just because it's fine. Like, we're already eliminating one aspect of the stomach ache, so I feel like it's not that necessary to do. Without further ado, let's get into this recipe. I have all the things that I need to put in the food processor already. This fettuccine alfredo is made out of tofu. You're supposed to get firm tofu. It uses tofu instead of cashews. I've seen other recipes that use cashews. It calls for 350 grams of firm tofu, but the only one I could find is 397. I'll probably take a little bit of a sliver off the end because I don't want that to alter. So we're just gonna leave that bit of a sliver out. I don't know if that's exactly 350 grams. We're just gonna eyeball it. That's kind of what I do with recipes. I just eyeball it, do whatever I feel like. And also this recipe calls for fresh basil. I don't have that and I didn't feel like buying fresh basil at the store. So I do have dried basil. I'm not sure if that's going to work or what. The first things you do are the food processing things. And a food processor combined tofu, lemon juice, which is from a whole lemon. And then I have all my spices in here, which is nutritional yeast, parsley, salt, pepper, nutmeg, garlic powder, a cup of plant-based milk, which I have almond milk. We are going to take this out. Oh. Yeah, that definitely didn't work. And it says that the tofu needs to be drained, not pressed. I'll do the spices. I normally don't ever like prepare everything in these little bowls like pretzels do, but I just really wanted to get going with it because kind of on a time crunch, not really, but kind of. I'd rather not be here for 12 hours, but I also don't want it to seem rushed. Here we go, there's half a lemon. And then the only thing left to do is the plant-based middle. Could really hope that this like blends up right. And she only did a tablespoon of nooch. To me, that's kind of like not a lot for all this stuff. I don't know, we'll taste it and see if I need more. And this is really loud, so I'm not gonna talk. It really hurts my ear, that's so loud. Just make sure all the good stuff is off the top. And scrape down the edges. It just smells like tofu to me. Okay, it looks a lot smoother now. Does not taste like fettuccine alfredo, I'll tell you that. I'm gonna put some more nutritional yeast in it. I'm gonna let that sit there for a minute. I wanna try and get this garlic ready, and it says to do three large cloves of garlic. I think those are pretty big pieces of garlic. In a large nonstick pan, saute garlic and onions on medium heat until onions just become translucent, then add sliced mushrooms and cook until they start to release water. So I'm just gonna chop up this garlic. I think that's minced good enough. And then I'm supposed to do a whole onion, which I never really do as much onion as they say to but since we are trying to follow this exactly and it says cremini mushrooms but i could not find them so i just got white how i was saying that i don't normally ever put as much onion as they say i've also grown to like onion a lot more when it's cooked when it's raw not so much i literally chose the tiniest cutting board and now i'm gonna have to clean two dishes because it's not working maybe it is maybe i should just keep going no i can't and this one is giant. I think that's good. Honestly, I'm probably not going to wash these mushrooms as best as I normally do just because I'm feeling lazy. Normally I clean every individual. Oh, but so much dirt just came off of that. Ugh, I guess I am. No, I don't want to. And I guess you don't need any oil. I'm probably just gonna put like a little bit of oil in the pan because I really don't want the onion and stuff to stick. I know she likes to be oil free, but I'm probably gonna put a little bit. I don't like using a lot of oil, but just enough so I don't stink and stick everything to the pan. And I don't want the non-stick surface to be coming off of the pan. Ugh. I wanna give up. I really wanna give up. 
heat, medium mushrooms. So now we're going to saute garlic and onions on medium heat. So let me scrape all these onions in. You know what I've realized? I'm always like, how do people get such good lighting at their stoves? My stove obviously like has half of the window. There's no window in front of the stove because there's no way that the window can be in front of the stove. But then I realize all these professional people have like a one single like stove top that they use on their counter. Why don't we just get our, but you can't get your stoves here because then there'd be a big thing here and then it'd be the same. Huh, interesting. I feel like I'm really annoying. I have the onions and garlic in here and I'm just gonna kinda mix it around so that it's evenly. And I'm gonna just fill it slightly on until onions just become translucent. Then add the sliced mushrooms and cook until they start to release water. Maybe I should start cooking the pasta too. I feel like that's a lot to do at once. I just have regular fettuccine noodles. I just got a new box because I was like, I can't do anything with this little amount. Then I realized it calls for 500 grams. So this is only 454. So then I thought if I added this little teeny bit of stuff in here, then maybe it'd be fine. I really hope this turns out well because it doesn't, I'm gonna cry. It calls for four cups of packed spinach. I've had the spinach in the freezer for so long and I don't want to like use full on spinach if I don't have to. Four cups of fresh spinach normally builds down to one cup of spinach. So I'm thinking maybe if I just do one cup of frozen spinach since it's already wilted. And you all even hear what I'm saying. That's just a lot more cost effective because frozen spinach is like 99 cents for like a bunch of cups that are wilted down. Okay, I'm just going to add the mushrooms. <laughs> Sometimes I pretend I'm a dancer. <laughs> I mean, I guess it won't hurt to use more spinach than you're supposed to. I'm gonna do maybe a cup and a half just because since that is kind of chunks, it, there's a lot of air in it, so. So I'm just gonna close the lid of this and let it steam down. Now my water is boiling. Put the noodles in. Normally I don't cook my pasta like that where half of it sticks out. Now I'm trying something different. Normally I just break my pasta in half so that I don't have to wait for it to cook down. I feel like I'm gonna need more water. <laughs> uh. And I was supposed to add my spinach and my basil. I don't have fresh basil. How much fresh basil are you supposed to have? One and a half tablespoons. Tablespoons? That kind of makes a big difference. That's probably what's gonna make it taste good. I just wing it. Oh, because if you think about it, fresh basil wilts down, so maybe I shouldn't do that much. I'll just do the bottom of the capful. I just hope this works. The reason that I'm making these videos is honestly just so I'll try out these recipes because I probably would have never tried this one out just because vegan fettuccine alfredo, like all the cheese substitutes I've tried to try. Sorry, man. I'd rather not eat cheese than eat cheese substitutes. Does that still look okay? I just, I need the light on. I just... I just need it. Now let's look at the pasta so that it's not sticking to the bottom because that would really be unfortunate if it was. It's looking okay over here, so I'm gonna add this basil. So that's done. Does it say to toss it with the sauce before? Add the tofu creamy mustard to the vegetables. Keep warm and low heat and cover for 10 minutes. Let the flavors marinate. Your pasta should be just about finished cooking as the sauce is marinating. That makes sense. Let's take this out and scrape a roux. Okay. Now let's put this on here. Ugh, turn this on low. Marinating. Oh, I need to pop my back. It hurts so bad. Ugh. 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 Did y'all hear that? I think I'm gonna just chill out for a few minutes while this finishes and then I'll come back once I've added the pasta. I need a second to just like watch New Girl. Normally that's what I'd be doing is like watching Gilmore Girls or New Girl while I'm cooking so then it's like you know, I can have like a little laugh in the background. But no, <laughs> this is like hardcore. It actually smells good. Like I can smell the basil that I put in. If I wouldn't have put that basil in, like I feel like it would have made a big difference. This pan is like barely big enough, but I turned it off the heat and I think I'm just gonna keep it on so that it will kind of hopefully thicken up. It definitely did thicken up. Here is what we're working with looking a little better. I'm gonna try it. I'm so glad that I added that basil because I just like, that's all I smell is basil. We have a little bit of everything. I don't want to burn my mouth. Okay. It's really not that bad. I haven't had fettuccine in so long that I don't really remember what it tastes like. It gives you like the same creaminess vibe. Oh yeah, that's cute. I feel like it has a bit of a graininess to it from the tofu, but I feel like Alfredo is normally just like, either it's like super, super creamy. Like if you get like the canned Alfredo, then yeah, it's really, really smooth. But I feel like sometimes maybe Alfredo can be a bit gritty because of cheese. Honestly, I haven't had fettuccine in so long because I know that it makes my stomach hurt real bad. I'm very impressed. Like I definitely will eat this. Like it's definitely not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I'm really 
really happy because <laughs> this is a lot of pasta. I feel like it helps that it's not like overly saucy, but if I did make this again, I would definitely do like a little less noodles. Like I would just do that one box and not add more because I thought that it needed 500 grams. It's actually really good. I'm impressed. I am impressed. I do recommend you try this recipe. I guess I, I guess I can put the recipe on the screen since I used it. It's not like I'm posting the whole book. I know I can't take a picture of it. I'm just going to do this and you can screenshot it. I don't think I can even screenshot this on my computer. So here's the recipe if you want to try it. And it did work with dried basil. So if you're stressed out about not finding basil or like, I don't know, like I just didn't feel like spending the money on like fresh basil and then using like a plastic container to get the basil so yeah so yeah i really hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did i would love if you subscribe down below and let me know if you like these copycat cooking shows i really hope i showed enough <laughs> hopefully it wasn't too boring please let me know if you liked it down below thank you so much for watching bye don't forget, you don't have to come up with a recipe for it to be a good one. Let me know if you want to see more of these copycat cooking shows, if you like the name, if it's catchy, or if you have something bitter. Alright, bye.